Hey everyone, Craig Williams here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of uh, one of the tracks I just released a couple of weeks ago called Seed. Uh, there's a lot of cool little things in here. Um, hopefully you guys get something out of it. And we'll just get straight into it. So I'll just play a little bit of the track so you get the feel of what's going on. And there's also a link in the description um, so you can go listen to the track on SoundCloud, stuff like that. There you go, you get a kind of a feel for what's going on. Um, what I'll do is I'll just go through the drums and then obviously that big synth, So, and I'll show you the plugins I used and how I made the sound and stuff like that. So if we head to the drum part, just solo these. I can do a bit of a loop here. So most of the bass sound from for the track actually comes from um, actually what we can do is uh, mute that mute all of these so most of the bass for the track comes from the kick and that's a kick that I've just uh, I made from um, the Novation Drum Station, which is like a remake of the 808 and 909. Uh, most of the stuff on there is analog model. There's only a couple of samples for like hats and stuff like that, but it's really good for kicks. As you, a nice big kick, and then I've just put just a little EQ and compression on there and then I've added this little click so it really helps it punch through. Um, rest of the drums are pretty standard. Uh, the toms are from that drum station again as well so if we play you get a nice groove going on there and again with the tom I've just got EQ compression and then a sidechain compression and a little bit of reverb on after as well. Um, the rest of it just sampled out so it's just normal snares and stuff like that and then at the end of each what's that four bars I've just got a, a nice big clap you can see here it comes in and I've got plenty of reverb on that one and then I've also got a compressor on after the reverb so it helps carry the reverb tail on a little bit um, I didn't sort of do too much with the drums because I wanted the, the bass and stuff like that to really punch through um, and really stand out in the mix. So as you can see it's a pretty simple track, there's not too much going on, it's not usually like some of my other ones where it's tons and tons and tons of tracks. Um, next up we'll go to effects, they're all pretty much standard, there's a lot of samples in there. Um, there's just little, I've got like little reverse rides to help sort of punch through and then and this one I have a delay on there as well so just click on that delay so it helps carry the tail over and this one I have a little bit of a delay but it's not too much so you can hear there's little bits that help sort of carry sections over so if you want something to um, like for this part here I would have a where the, the break happens so I want the sound to carry on a little bit more as, as a sort of a tail on the effect. Um, next up we have got the bass. Now the bass started from the Korg Monotribe and it just had a, a loop, a uh, little sequence that I made on there and 
I sort of was working on the loop and then um, my buddy Freak Status come over and I showed him the just the little sequence that I made. So then we ended up making this track in I think one and a half sessions. So here's the the little loop. So you can see there it's got a bit of beef to it. And all I've gone, like we went along and we just cut it up a lot. So for the plugins, first up have an EQ and it's just taking off the very lows there. Uh, next up, because like I was saying, the, the main sort of sub of the track is dr uh, driven from the um, from the kick. Next up is the space, and all I'm using from this whole thing is the filter, and it's a bandpass filter. I just like the way that it sounds. Oh, sorry, and I've got a little bit of the enhancer up there as well. Um, after that, sausage fat nut absolutely going in really hard on that one uh, after that is camel fat and using the distortion and a little bit of the filter I think I use the filter to filter parts in and out a bit later on uh, even though this filter is turned on I'm not using it in there and then finally is the compressor and as you can see there, it's like 25 to 30 dBs of gain reduction, so it's really pumping the compressor there to get that, um, that effect going. And then I usually put the tuner on just after it, um, just to make sure that um, some of the notes weren't sort of wavering too much. I just wanted to check the, the key of them, and it was all uh, in. So if I play the sound with nothing. Oh, also running it to a little bit of the reverb and a tiny, 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 tiny bit of distortion. And if I solo that, you might be able to hear it's like really just the, the highs there. Um, so if I bring it up, where are we? It's all right. Yeah, it's like really, really down low, but you can still hear. It's just like just adding a little bit more punch to it. And so, if I take all them off, it's kind of a whatever sound. Really, here, there, it's sort of notched out that sound. This is where most of the sound comes from. And that sort of adds that sort of noise to the top of it and then and if we go along and solo that out now you can see there it's not too much in the low but sort of just this high harmonics that I wanted to uh, get the distortion going on and, when, and as you can see there I've just sort of cut it onto different uh, channels and just sort of done different rhythms and stuff like that with it. It was just easier to work with it like that since the sequence was in the monotribe and then I pulled it out and just recorded it straight in. I just sort of played around with the different uh, the different sounds and like the different sequence and just sort of cut it up to sort of give it a different flavor instead of just having a filter, filter in and out all the time. So this one compared to this one, we've got the cuts at, on the uh, just at the end of each bar, but this one we just kept it solid. And just little effects like that, quick stop. So all I've done there is just come along, um, put a fade on it, and then uh, 
change it to a slowdown. So it's one way if you guys didn't know you do like kind of like a record stop uh, effect there. And I did the same at the end of this section. Just oh, solo. And then for the break, just done something pretty simple and just played one note in. And then through the after uh, after the four bars, it's like it's the track sort of falling apart you can really hear it's like it fully breaks down and then it, the, the drop comes in and really kicks it back on again um, and then the hoover it's just a real simple hoover made in silence and nothing too crazy there and then last up we've got these sort of bleep sounds and it was just by accident we found this patch in cypher We just played around with it. So if you play the and it's just got a couple of effects if I take them off. So we got the camel space with the sequencer on with the gate. So that's really gating the sound up. Sausage fattener to add like that little bit of distortion. So to really push it through and then the compressor at the end, which is just a side chain. Um, and I found that, like we found that when it comes to the end, the sound sort of carried on for a bit. So uh, we just bounce it down to audio. If you pull it out, you can see there sound travels a little bit further so we just bounce it to audio cut the end off and you get that nice sharp and that's the joy of working with audio apart from MIDI and that's why there's so many I think the only MIDI parts in this whole thing uh, you've got the Hoover and I think that's it oh and this little snare sort of shuffle which isn't actually in this session but um, the sample still on my other computer but you get the feel there and uh, for the effects we've got the little riser that I showed you guys how to make in a previous video just the riser effect there we've got little sample there which I've just notched out it like done a nice big cut on it and it's like really low and then um, this is just a sample that I, I made that's just kind of like a, a drone in the background which is like really down low and the same thing again I've really cut it and compressed and then sidechain compressed it so it just fills out the mix nicely and uh, so there you go if there's anything else uh, you guys want to know about the track um, feel free to leave a comment don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to head over to my Facebook page give that a like and also uh, follow us on SoundCloud and Twitter and all those other things so until next time see you later